Fingerprint cards has finally begun to show some strong technical tendencies. But what exactly is needed for this to be the well-deserved break that we've all been waiting for for two long years? For two years now, fingerprint cards has been hovering around sideways in quite a drearisome manner, one that seems to never end. This in fact reminds me of the equally tiresome movements prior to the 2015 outbreak. I personally remember how frustrating they were as bullish news kept piling up but without anything happening. But here's the thing, something did happen. The two year long lead up, similar to what we see now, was just the pressure chamber needed for the stock price to explode by thousands of percent. Unfortunately for me though, I was bored out of my all-in position just two months before it took off. One that would have generated me $3 million at most. Just like the long pre-explosion buildup, we are again stuck in limbo where the stock appears to be immune to good news. But brace yourselves, for there is light at the end of the fingerprint tunnel, and it sure shines brighter by the day. Let's dig into the technicals that indeed seem to be in the midst of a strong build-up to save us from death by dullness. The reason why I'm particularly bullish this time is because the different time frames seem to align and add fuel to one another. But first, do note that nothing of what I say is financial advice. I'm in fact a mental case and I produce these episodes from the nuthouse. For long I've been talking about the support area at 1280 to 1380 and upon the stock reversing from that very support by shooting up some 30% in a single day, fingerprint cars broke through its short term declining trend at heavy trading volumes. Short term the price is currently hovering around in a bullish pennant which statistically is a continuation pattern. What also adds to the short term bullishness is the reclining RSI on the hourly within this formation where the RSI still remains within a strong bullish red RSI channel. In this case the short term technical target is just around the pivotal high at 23 kroner which on its own is a key level of importance. This leads us to the mid term technicals. Now. FPC is still trading within this confirmed declining channel and if this is the long sought after time for a breakout then there are two things to look out for before such move is technically confirmed, both of which need to occur. 1. A breakout from this godforsaken declining channel and 2. That we take out the previous high of 23 kroner and ideally add significant trading volumes to decrease the risk of it turning into a fakeout and 23 kroner just so happens to be the technical short term target as just mentioned. But here's the beautiful part. A breakout from this declining channel could in itself be propelled by the short term formation and price action. And such move would in turn equate to a reversed head and shoulders outbreak. Such formation conveniently and coincidentally has a technical target at the previous support and resistance level at 29 to 30 kroner and would on top of that amount to a gap fill. And do note that this individual target refers to the reversed head and shoulders alone. For if we were to get this outbreak I strongly doubt it will stop at 30 except for any temporary correctional move. Two years of amassing power and regaining trust in the stock and company amount to every possibility of taking us further than that. For once the dam breaks, big water flows. Given FPC's current and promising technical strength and build up in combination with the parabolic tendencies that are steadily emerging on the global indices, I don't see why fingerprint cards would stand by the sidelines after having amassed power for an upwards movement for such a long time. Based on FPC's solid short term technicals in combination with the index strength, I have taken a swing position of 6% of my portfolio value myself. A position I will add on to if the short term technicals have momentum enough to push us up and beyond the previous top at 23 kroner. That was all for now, thank you and goodbye.